The Lyrians and the Nilfgaardians fought the monsters side by side, a united force. But when the last necrophage fell, the soldiers immediately returned to their respective divisions. Meave's soldiers looked at the invaders askance, uncertain what would happen next. Suddenly, one of the Nilfgaardians broke ranks and fell to his knees. Your Grace, I know you have no reason to trust us, but we are not enemies. We hail from Geisog, a land Nilfgaard conquered and made its province. We did not ask to fight in this war by force. We were conscripted. The soldier hefted his sword by the blade and handed it, hilt first, to the queen. We yearned for a way to desert, and we have found it. Your Grace, allow us to join your army. We long for the Empire's defeat every bit as much as you do. Okay, so a land of cliffs, mountains, and bandits. Before I start this video off, I would like to say that uh, Geso has two different spellings that were used. One with an H between the G and the E, and one without. I'm going for the one without the H. Geso lies to the north of Maagd and east of Metena. To the east lies the Tyr Torture Massif, beyond which lies the Korth Desert. Geso is a rather mountainous country, abundantly cut by streams, full of ravines, caves and thickets, but also boasting green valleys as well as high, sunburnt grasses. Geso is not much fertile land, however there are plenty of areas suitable for pasture. When the Baron of Geso saw that he was surrounded, he decided to surrender to Nilfgaard. He allowed a small force to enter, who was going to occupy his region. However, the Baron of Geso thought he could decide the terms against Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard did not take lightly to this action. The town of Gliswin, or White River as it was called, is a good example. After Nilfgaardians were done, all that remained were ten huts, a part of the palisade, and an inn. The population of Geso was decimated, and Nilfgaardian settlers filled the empty spaces in the land. Along these settlers came Nilfgaardian noble families, like the Sweers and the Varnhagens. The populace is afraid of Nilfgaardians. This led to the task of what you might expect governments to be responsible for, to be taken over pity nobles and bandit kings. The roads in Geso are not safe. Bandits and slavers roam free, especially on the Velda Road, now better known as the Bandits Road. The road goes towards the town of Lorido, also known as the Bandits Lair. In this town, all manner of folk rest, resupply, and trade their booty from farmers to slavers. The village has been burned down many times, but the remaining residents and many immigrants keep rebuilding it. Some other notable villages in Geso are Amarillo, Ven Aspra, Druk, New Forge, Sarda, which is the end seat of the Varnhagen family on the edge of the Korth Desert, Tiffy, and Wagtail. In the 1260s, the Lord of Geso's army joined forces with the insurgents from Ebbing and Maagd, and together they created a confederation with an aim to gain sovereignty again. The Lord's army was quickly defeated by the forces of the Empire. As a result, many of its fugitives joined the bandit gangs that plagued the land. The main export products from this land are cloths made of sheep's wool, manufactured with the help or mechanical weavers driven by mountain streams. In settlements on the bandit's trail, merchants often buy goods from brigands and thieves from the area above the upper Velda. During the Second Northern War, Geso wasn't really affected besides the rising amount of bandits. Soldiers from Geso took part in the war on Nilfgaard's side. This can be seen in Thronebreaker, where Meath encounters a group of soldiers from Geso that she can save and recruit in her army. As notable in that part is that the Gais soldiers from Geso aren't really happy to fight for Nilfgaard. They much rather fight against Nilfgaard, but they are forced to fight for Nilfgaard. So this was everything I could find about Geso, 
uh, the land that's up next is Nazir, famous for its flowers. If you have more videos and stuff about the Witcher universe, subscribe. That was it. Bye. Meave helped the kneeling soldier to his feet. The enemy of Nilfgaard is my friend. No matter who he is, or whence he hail. The Lyrians were clearly displeased with their queen's decision. The black-clad deserters from Geso would need to earn their trust. <laughs>